Hi everyone, welcome back to the Child Care Lounge. On this episode, we're gonna be discussing the do's and don'ts of an interview. We're gonna be giving you some tips and tricks to get your dream job. Stay tuned. Let's discuss resumes. Here at Malor, we go through a lot of them. We're constantly recruiting and looking for the next person to join our team. When it comes to submitting a resume, you're always gonna to wanna to stick to one page. When I open up an attachment and there's two, three pages, it becomes exhausting. Keep that one page, keep it specific, and keep all the information really relevant to what it is that you're applying to. So when it comes to your resumes, you're gonna to wanna to do your best not to travel too far back in time. I think this is a big mistake that a lot of people make not even realizing it. If you're applying to a childcare position in 2020, it's really nice to share your experience from working retail in 2010, but really we could just leave that on the side and not include it. Rather, maybe we could bring it up in discussion when we meet at the interview. Registered Early Childhood Educator. That was intense, right? That's kind of what it sounds like when you put capitals all over your resume. That's how we read it. So another tip, caps off. Only put them where necessary and where appropriate. Also, when it comes to the description and the visual of your resume, we don't need to download or pay for some fancy template. Word offers many of them and they are very professional and probably the best ones to use. Just like with anything in life, never go into any situation unprepared. If you know you have an interview coming up, do your research on the company. Do your homework, find out how long they've been in business, a little bit of the history, how they came about. If you know who'll be interviewing you, see if you can find out a little bit of information on how they began their career. It always makes for such a great conversation too. You never get a second chance to make a great first impression. When planning out your interviews, plan ahead. Be ready so that you're comfortable and confident when you arrive. Always look over the route ahead of time to make sure you know exactly where you're going and how to enter the building and where exactly the office is that you're looking for. First impressions goes hand in hand with appearance. Make sure that you are always dressing accordingly. What does this mean? We're not gonna arrive with tank top spaghetti straps and all that kind of jazz. Here's Frank in the background, say hey everyone. First impressions and appearance go hand in hand. Dress code is really important when arriving to an interview. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're dressed in a professional manner. Ensure that you have on clothes that are fitting for the position that you are applying for. No matter how big or grand the position is, in the end, you are going to be presenting yourself in front of an employer. You always need to make sure that you look your best. This is the tricky subject that not everyone wants to talk about, but it needs to be talked about, hygiene. Proper hygiene is so important. You wanna make sure you smell good. Does that mean like 17 squirts of cologne or perfume? Absolutely not. I'm just talking about a fresh shower and some good deodorant. These things make a great difference. And we all have experienced that moment where you're walking and you catch a whiff of something like that. It can really just tarnish your mood. So be above and beyond and always take care of yourself and great hygiene, not only for the interview, but of always come ready with a resume on hand. Yes, your employer has received it and viewed it. However, it just looks really great when you come prepared. A portfolio is another great tool to have. In a portfolio, you would include things like your resume, reference letters, past work experiences, maybe some photos, things like that. That always will set you above and beyond. It's 2021 and yes, we are still working our way through the coronavirus. With that being said, a new thing now, video interviews. So let's talk about this a bit. How do we prepare? Professional on the top, casual on the bottom? Does it really matter? No. What does matter is that you are on time, that you have planned your video in advance, and you are sticking to any arrangements made in that video regarding the aftermath of that interview. Communication is very easy to get lost when you're doing a video interview. Um, also, your surroundings. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're having a little bit less, more of a blank canvas than what you see here. That way the person interviewing you can really focus on you and your face and the beautiful things you have to say. Our next great piece of advice would be to listen and respond accordingly. We understand that during an interview, you could get anxious and nervous, which might lead you just to ramble on. It happens to me in everyday life. Listen to what the interviewer is saying. Really hear the questions that the interviewer is asking you. Take your time, think about your answers, and then answer accordingly. Ensure that you answer all questions in a clear and direct manner. Try to avoid dancing around a question. 
While answering questions in your interview, try to relate them to your everyday life as well. Try to give examples of what you've been through and how you've overcome such situations. At the end of the day, it's an interview. Go there, have fun, enjoy yourself, and you'll get that job. It's definitely true what Melissa was saying. It's really easy to start rambling when you're in an interview. That's why it's really important to prepare questions prior to going. Open-ended questions are the best ones to have. At the end of the interview, you're going to want an opportunity to ask those questions. It's a great way to show your interest in the position. What kind of questions can I ask though? We thought you'd ask. So, a perfect question is, tell me a little bit more about the culture of this company. How did you get involved with this company? How has your experience been so far working with this company? Employers love to share their experience. So take that time, get connected and ask away. So as we're filming this video, we really thought to each other, whoa, we definitely bombed our share of interviews. Yeah, absolutely. It's normal, it happens, that's okay. The objective is that you learn from the last one and you do better on the next one. And you go in there and you be you and you be authentic. So one thing that we really wanted to discuss, something that unfortunately we do experience often, is when people talk poorly about their past work experiences, workplaces, or employers. <laughs> something we would like to discuss coming from the interview side of things is during an interview never speak poorly of your past employer past relationships with colleagues or anything negative of the sort unfortunately we've come across this quite a few times and it has put a little bit of a negative damper on the situation the purpose and the person so do your best speak about the good and just leave the bad in the past where it belongs Towards the interview, there always comes that moment that we've been dreading, but preparing for. The questions. What is your greatest strength? What is your weakness? Those are such tough questions. It's really something to think about before you go. Think about yourself, think about deep down inside, what are your strengths? We all have them. If you can't think of one that really relates to that position, you can always feel free to discuss ones that reflect you in everyday life. Also, the way you carry yourself in an interview speaks of volumes. When you first walk in, always start with a firm handshake. This is pre-COVID, of course. When you're sitting down, sit up straight. Have your back straight, your shoulders back, and pronounce everything you say. Number one most important rule, if you do have your cell phone, ring her off in your bag. There should be no distractions whatsoever. And eye contact. You're going to want to make a deep connection with the person that's interviewing you. So look them in the eyes, have your confidence, and say what you're there to say. Good luck and we wish you the very best.